Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this infinity scarf. And you can actually make it as long as you want. Um, it's got some cables all the way up it. And I think it turned out really nice. It's sewn together here. And if you didn't even want to make it an infinity scarf, you wouldn't even have to sew it together. But, but it's actually really easy. It's, you can do the back post and front post and you can do this uh, with ease. So let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, for this project, I used a Lion Brand Mandalay yarn, which is a three plot lightweight number three yarn. And there are 590 yards in this skein, and one skein will make a scarf. Now, I, I had this is how much I have left out of my skein. If you want to use the whole skein and make it longer, you can. But the collar I am using is called Serpent, I believe. Yep, Serpent. And I'm going to be using a size, uh, which is a H, which is a five millimeter crochet hook. Now this stitch is done in a multiple of three in case you want to make it thicker or thinner or you want to use this project for something else. Or this stitch for a different project, I'm sorry. Um, so to make mine I started off with a chain of 27 and once you get your chain of 27 done you want to go ahead and do a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook and remember we never count the one that's on our hook so one two three four and then it's just one double crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain Okay, when you make it to the end of row one, you should have 25 stitches, and that is counting this chain here on the end. It counts as a stitch. So for row two, we're just going to chain three and turn our work. That chain three counts as a double crochet. Now what we're going to do is skip one stitch, and we're going to do a front post triple crochet around the next. So we'll skip this one. Now we're going to yarn over twice like we're going to do a triple. And instead of doing it in the top of the stitch, we're going to go around the post. Just like that. And now we're just going to go ahead and finish out our triple crochet. Like that. And now we're going to go back to that stitch that we skipped right there. And we're going to do a front post triple crochet around that one. So we'll yarn over twice. And we'll go right back around the post of that stitch that we skipped. And finish out our triple crochet. Just like that. So that's kind of one cable. Now they'll, they look kind of twisty at first, but once you get more rows, you'll be able to see them better. Now I'm going to do one double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Just like that. And that's kind of the repeat for the entire row of row two. So I'm going to skip the next stitch and do a front post triple around the post of the next stitch. So skip this one. And this one around the post, I'll do my triple crochet, my front post triple. Sorry. And now I'm going to go backwards to the one I skipped and do a front post triple crochet around that one. Just like that. And then I'm going to do a double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And now you got another cable made. Again, I'm going to skip one stitch and do a front post triple around the next one. So I'm going to yarn over twice again. Skip this one. Go around the post of this one. Do my triple crochet. Then I'm going to go back to the stitch that I skipped and do a front post triple around that one. And then I'm going to do one double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Now I'm going to repeat this pattern until I get to the end of the row. Skip one and do a front post triple. Then go back and do a front post triple in the one you skipped. 
and then a double crochet around a double crochet into the top of the next okay I'm coming to the end of row two and I just did my post stitch and I have one stitch left this chain here that I remember it counts as a double crochet you want to just put a double crochet in that last stitch and you should still have 25 stitches you should always have 25 stitches still now for row three we're going to chain three count as a double and turn our work now we're going to be working back post stitches this time since we're on the back side of our work that's when we work back posts so what we're going to do is we're not going to skip any stitches we're just going to do a back post triple around this one and then around the next one so we're going to yarn over twice now the back post is you just come from the behind the next this first stitch here like that the post is on the back of your hook and then you go ahead and do your triple crochet like that and then we're going to do a back post triple into the next stitch so go right from behind it like that and then do your triple crochet and now we're going to put one double crochet into the top of the next stitch which is the double crochet from the previous row so one double crochet right in the top of it now that's kind of the repeat for row three we do a back post triple around this stitch and then this stitch so we don't skip stitches on this one go right from behind it just like that your post is on the back of your hook do your triple crochet and then back post triple around the next one make sure you look around and you're getting the right one it's easy to get these posts mixed up but as long as you're careful you'll be able to get it just like that and then we will do a double one double crochet into the top of the next stitch which is the double crochet from the previous row again we're going to do a back post triple around the next stitch and one around the next stitch so we just yarn over twice go around the post from the back side like that that way the post is on the back of your hook do your triple crochet and then again into the next stitch like that and then a double one double crochet into the top of the next stitch now we're just going to repeat this until we get to the end of the row and if you flip it over you can see your posts are starting to look a little bit more like posts and they'll look a lot better when you get more more rows to go in okay when you come to the end of your row here when you're working on the back sometimes it's easy to get these confused because these triple or these chain threes here they'll start to curve in what I always do is I just stick my finger in there and then I can see that right here are the two posts that I need to work in so I'll stick my finger there and then I know I need to do a front post triple around this stitch and this stitch so I'll go ahead and do that that was the hardest part for me I got confused a lot here at the end until I realized that this is easier just to put my finger there and hold that stitch back that way it didn't get in the way and then you want to put a double crochet in the top of this chain three count your stitches one two three make sure you get the third one just like that now all it is really is a repeat of rows two and three so you would just repeat row two again by chain and three and turn in your work now this time is where we skip so here's your post you can see them sticking out we're going to skip this one and front post triple around the next And then we're going to back it up and do a front post triple around the one that we skipped. And then it's one double crochet into the top of the next stitch, which is the double crochet from the previous row. And then we skip the next post stitch here and front post triple around the next. 
and then we back it up and front post triple around the one we skipped and then double crochet into the top of the next stitch so I'm repeating row two now and I'm just going to do that until I get to the end of the row and when you make it to the end again you just want to find your chain three here they tend to flip in and it's supposed to do that you're not doing anything wrong but go ahead and pull it out and do a double crochet into the top then the third chain here the top of it so one two three double crochet and now we just repeat row three again by chain and three turning our work and now we're not going to skip any stitches we're just going to do a back post triple around the first two stitches so triple or yarn over twice do a back post triple around the first one and back post triple around the next one and double crochet into the top of the next stitch back post triple around the next two so the first one here and the next one and double crochet into the top of the next stitch so I'm just repeating row three now till I get to the end of my work my piece is a little bit smaller than the 25 stitches. I'm just doing a sample here. Okay, when you get here to the end, remember I said it's sometimes because because of the nature of these chain three slipping in, got to kind of pull them back so you can see the two stitches that you need to do a front post or a back post triple around. So it's easier just to pull it out that way you can see what doing and then we go ahead and double crochet into the top of this chain three here so count one two three up it looks like there's four chains there one two three four but there's not that's just part of that triple crochet there so make sure you're getting in the third one and you should always have no matter what row you're on every row is going to end in 25 stitches so this is what it starts to look like and remember I told you these flip in naturally you're not doing anything wrong so you just keep repeating rows two and three okay I went ahead and did a total of hundred and eleven rows now you can do more if you want however long you want your scarf to be that's how many you can do this is what I got left on my skein if you want to finish out your skein you can but my hands were getting pretty tired so um, I went ahead and tied off but what, however many rows you do you want to end in an odd number so 111 is what I did and then I tied off and I left a long tail because we're going to sew our two sides together now when, if you look at it flip it over to the wrong side you'll see how these kind of fold in well it's supposed to do that these chain threes they fold in well I like the look of that from the opposite side it kind of makes it look like it's standing up on its own but if you don't like the look of that you can get rid of that by just going around the edge and single crochet so like in each one of these chain spaces along the edge here if you want to get rid of that and make it like straight out to where it doesn't curl under you put like two single crochets right through each one of these chain spaces you do that all the way down and you want to do that after we get it sewed together that's it if you want to do that I think it looks cool the way it is so I'm gonna leave mine but we're gonna sew it together so you want to put the good side up like this and then fold it over like that so now the wrong sides it's folded in half and the wrong sides are facing us so I'm gonna take a yarn needle and my tail and I'm just going to sew it together <clears throat> and then I'll flip it right side out so I'm just going to put my pieces together here and 
just neatly sew it together. Oops. I'm going to go kind of just over the top like that. And then when we flip it right side out, you won't be able to see the seam. Just match up your stitches here. Get, grab one here, one here. Sew it up. Ah, oh, other tails in my way. And I'm just going to do this all the way down until I get to the end. Try to keep them lined up as best as possible, your stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I'm just going to get all the way to the end here. And then I'll finish hiding this tail. Or weaving in the rest of the tail. And then I'll weave this one in. And then I'll flip it right side out. Okay, once you get your piece sewed together, you can flip it right side out. So there's my seam. It looks pretty nice. Nice and clean. And that is it. That is, of course, now if you wanted to go around the whole piece with single crochet like I said if you don't like the way these ends fold in but I like it I think it looks good I might I don't really do crochet but I might wear this but that's it I hope you enjoyed my tutorial please don't forget to check out all my other tutorials I have hundreds of them on YouTube don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Instagram and Etsy and I'll put a link to all that stuff below and a link to where you can get the pattern for this and until next time have a good day